It's the Pelone and Chubby Show with your hosts, Rich Salas and Guy Murray, talking about comedy and everything that crosses their minds. It's the Pelone and Chubby Show. Flown the coop and coming to America for one night. And for one night only, we've got this, we've got four lads from Brandon. They were going to rock your socks and make the little ladies go crazy. Are we live? And we're live. Hello and welcome once again to the Pelon and Chubby Show. We are here for the special edition New Year's Eve show. And lucky you, you get to spend it with us. Not seeing us, well now you can see us, guy. But uh, you get to hear the pearly tones of Rick Salas. And Guy Murray. We're Pelon and Chubby. We're here with you all night until the crack of dawn. Well, at least I am. Guy's got to get home to the penitentiary. (laughs) (laughs) We went over there. We went over that last week. We're not going to get into that again. We don't want to turn any uh, old stones over once again. Did you, uh, were you safe? Well, she hasn't listened to that episode, so it's all good. It's skipping it. It's skipping. Yeah, you got to keep that one under key for sure. Absolutely. So we're here at the wonderful Vista Village Pub in Vista, California, a beautiful city. If you've never been, you got to check it out. It's becoming soon the micro brew capital of the world. Come down and check out some of the breweries here in Vista. It's amazing. Have you seen all the ones, guy? Have you been oh, around my town? Goodness, Have you... Just walking down the street here, there's three and four Mother Earth, man. Yeah, I got Mother Earth, Belch and Beaver. A lot of the people know by the peanut butter uh, beer, whatever it is. Be- Guy's not a drinker, but one time he was quite a lush, so he's still familiar with the beer and everything. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. They got a couple, a few restaurants, a new Japanese restaurant coming in. But tonight we're at Vista Village Pub for one reason to bring in the 2018 with 91 Octane, one of the best cover bands around. They uh, originally were a punk band and they've kind of gone into doing rock music with a little punk influence and kind of punking them out. So it's kind of interesting. I don't know if you've ever had the opportunity to see them, Guy, but uh, uh, not bad for a cover band. Not bad. I I, I did check out their Facebook page. They got a couple of videos posted and um, quite impressive, quite impressive. Yeah, so it's... uh, You've shared that you've done uh, performances with them and they actually pulled your microphone. So yeah, just keeping in stride with that history. Yeah, so uh, this was the scene of the crime last year, the year before. Chew, what year was that? Last year, the year before. When I was on stage rocking it out and they turned off my microphone, right. Last so year, which, so. which is the appropriate thing to do with my singing skills. You guys kind of got a little taste of it the, uh, the last week when it was uh, Guy's birthday. And I did my little uh, Marilyn Monroe rendition of Happy Birthday. I was quite impressed. Mr. President. It was pretty impressive. Yeah. Pretty impressive stuff that was. Uh, so uh, what I heard was most of the cats in the neighborhood came out ready and uh, primed and nice and wet uh, because they thought it was a mating call of some sort. But uh, that's <laughs> about as good as I get right there. Karaoke and me have never seen eyes. <laughs> Karaoke. <laughs> Is that bad? Karaoke. That's that bad. I thought it was a martial arts. You know, karaoke is actually a Japanese for a band with no instruments. Really? Yeah. Or a band with no talent. That's me. Talented <laughs> band. Talentless band. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no instruments, no talent. That's karaoke. How is it that I can know if somebody can sing, has talent, but I can't sing a lick? You can... Um, is it possible? It's possible because you can um, actually... Um, the word is called, um, it's right on the tip of my tongue, I can't even think of it right now. Uh, you can actually resonate with certain people and then you attract others. So if you're talentless or can't sing, you definitely are attracted to other people that can. So they come in swooping and saving your, uh, your hide as it would seem. So New Year's Eve. Here yes. in Vista, there's people. Guy I was supposed to be with, uh, with the wife here, Kathy. She's first time ever seeing the show. You know, uh, in person, live. This is She's what we listened do. to it and slammed the show many, many times listening to it. But uh, she's a, a marginal supporter at best. So uh, she she believes that one day 
is probably going to become a, a major show, but uh, still has her doubts because of my previous endeavors, uh, failing miserably. <laughs> so uh, tonight we're supposed to be, guy, we're supposed to be in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the House of Blues in beautiful Mandalay Bay, watching uh, one of our high school mates' bands, a little band called Pennywise. Nice. He's the drummer, Byron's the drummer. My cousin's out there, one of my best friends from high school's out there, and he had tickets, and the old man in me came out, guy. I started tripping. <laughs> I started getting nervous about the trip. Every, she'll tell you, every time it's time to go on a trip somewhere, I start doing the sweating. I have the second doubt, like second thoughts about going and how maybe it's not a good idea. Maybe there might be a massive tidal wave that hits Nevada. Maybe it's not a good idea to go out there. Just a mere mention of a road trip kind right. of gets you freaked out. And I start to get fucking all weird and like... Hey. Rain Man. I, no, think we, no, I think I know no. what to do. We, we can hide a freaking overnight bag in the trunk and yeah. then just pop up and say, hey, let's take a little trip right. real quick. And, so and surprise, I'll, ambush I'll even, you. Dude, I'll even go as far as this. Plan the trip. Okay. Make all the reservations. Okay. Then backpedal. Get all the nervous and sweaty and shit. Okay. Tell Kathy, no, 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 we're not going. But it doesn't become a trip until you know it's a trip. Cancel the reservations, right? Homie be right? tripping is basically right. what I'm saying. Yeah, and then you know he, what happens? He doesn't like tripping anymore. Is Here's that what, what I'm saying? We're supposed to leave at like 10 o'clock. Yeah. And then five minutes before we're supposed to leave, I'll say, fuck it, let's go. And we jump in the car and go. And we're done. We're no on the road. no reservations or nothing. Just last minute planning, just go. So it goes from plan, plan reservations, to fuck it, we're not going, I'm scared, to... Get in the fucking car. We're leaving. Full bore. <laughs> I think I'm fucking schizo or something. I think, I think I'm a little bipolar or little, something. There's little something fucked up. There's a couple on there. wires crossed. There's definitely some polarity the, going on The motherboard is fucked with. Somebody put a virus in me somewhere along the line. I'm fucked up. I know, but at least I accept it. That's part good, though. You know, you recognize it. You realize that it's right. part of you. Part of the recovery is what? Acknowledging, uh, acknowledging, accepting, you have accepting a the fact that you have a problem. Yeah, so I definitely have a problem. I have multiple problems, multiple personalities. Oh, yes, that you do, my friend Rick, yes. that you do. So, uh, so Actually, we, we I thought you were a there. homeless guy. Yeah, we were supposed to be there and watching the show, uh, the Pennywise show. But uh, you know what? I'm, I'm good with... Uh, I'm, I'm good with being here. I Staying at home. I can't pick up the uh, this, so I'm gonna have to go on my own. All by myself. <laughs> wow. Uh, I bet you don't know who even sings that song. Uh, I wanna be all by myself. Man, I'm kind of raspy too, cause I have whatever it was you gave me. I, I got that. The hiv. The huff. The hiv. The puff. You gave me some. What in the? Fuck? All right, so uh, I, I, you know, I thought it'd be appropriate to talk, uh, maybe get some of our like uh, craziest New Year's Eve stories. Uh, see what everybody's doing New Year's Eve. Uh, as, uh, I, I mean, I don't want it to turn into like everything New Year's Eve, but fuck it, it is New Year's Eve. It is this a is time a upon special us. edition show. We talk about all the normal stuff in our normal broadcast. So right. Why not? You know. Why not? How has your uh, week been so far, guy? The holidays. The holidays, festivus, festivus for what, the rest what of us. What do black folks celebrate? What is it? Uh, Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Yeah. And what? What is Jesus's it, birthday? Is it the black Jesus? Yeah, what no, we Kwanzaa is just a, it's the gift, the gift of life, life to giving. Is it some kind of African? The celebration holiday? of yeah, it's a celebration of light. And what? What is the? Uh, what do they give gifts? Yeah. Oh yeah, they give gifts. They're tremendous gift bearing. They trade pelts and shit. <laughs> if you want to take it to that level, yeah, that's definitely. Right. <laughs> oh my God, my friend Rick, boy, he's full of knowledge today. Yes, indeed. All right, so we're going a little late on Facebook, but uh, we're going Facebook Live, YouTube Live. Uh, I don't know if we're maybe somebody can give us some feedback on uh, if how the sound is and all that from this recording, guys. Where can they go see the video? They can go to the. 
Facebook page Facebook for Polona page Chubby. Facebook page for Polona Chubby. Yep. Is it the page of the group? We said it's the group? The page. The page. Not the group. All right. So I'm going to put this right here if it'll work. Oh, that's horrible. Can't see you, can't see me. Can right. see Kathy. That's the, uh, we don't. The, the, the yeah, go ahead and just put it on you. Go ahead and just put that on you. Get live. Get your little crowd going. Get your little viewers in there. And then we won't make that the, oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine. As Rick right, tries to get himself like that. Hello, world. How's everybody doing? Reggie Rodriguez, Brett Oz, fuck off. I know you're at Pennywise, you piece of shit. But everybody's sick here. I'm supposed to be there with you right now, but that's the way it goes. But how you having, you having fun? The show's getting ready to start pretty soon, huh? Yeah, Brett's over there. Uh, that's my buddy. Uh, Flora Benavides is watching. All right, cool. We got a bunch of people just started to tune in. We're on Facebook Live. Anytime there's going to be about 100 people there tuning in, guy uh, on Facebook. But the rest of you, as I always say, go on our podcast, go on Podbean, go on iTunes, go on Google, uh, Google Music. Music. Go on all those because the quality of the production is 100 a times better. better. The voice, the, all the noise canceling in the background, you don't hear any of that. You actually can hear everybody. Every it's nice. gumdrop. So it's uh it, it, it's way better. Lots better. So uh, guy is here. I can only have the camera on me because right, what's just up, the way this YouTube is set up. What's up, Facebook? Uh, soon we're world? gonna have the video camera with the microphone. Direct. Feed. And it'll be taking both of us at the same time. But for now, we're kind of stuck with this bullshit. So. Anyway, Nick Flores, what's up? Happy New Year, dog. So we're in the house here at the Vista Village, Vista Pub, Village Pub. And tonight's performance with... 91, 91 Octane, Octane, Danny Costito, uh, Nick, uh, no, uh, John Pyle on the drums. And he's got a new singer. This is going to be the first night that they actually play live together and do an actual show. Oh, that would be a, something to see there. They got That's a new guitar player. Uh, <clears throat> so far, I like what I see. It's pretty good. Happy New Year, Brett. Have a good one out there. Be safe. Keep all your teeth. Keep the elbows in. Get a couple cocktails so you don't feel anything in the pit. But it's going to be a bunch of old people anyway. If they down, is an old band. down and digging Pennywise. 80s. So everybody there is like 40. <laughs> Definitely. And all their wives and girlfriends are 30. <laughs> 30 or less. Because we marry well. You got to do the, uh, you send out all the uh, I love you. invitations, man. The yeah. Happy New Year, the invitation. Yeah. Join in. Happy New Year. Happy 2018. We're here at Vista Village Pub. This is Polona and Chubby live on remote doing our special edition New Year's Eve show. Yes, sir. And we're definitely doing it live, live as we can possibly be. Video posting on YouTube, on Facebook, at Facebook forward slash Pelone and Chubby. If you go Facebook at Pelone and Chubby, you should get us just the same. And they can call in. The and they can still call in 760-565-3713. 760-565-3713. Somebody call in. We haven't had anybody call in for a while. Let's get a call in. Somebody, please, please call. Uh, let's see. The beauty about this place, Vista Village Pub, right now and tonight on New Year's Eve, you can go anywhere. No problem for New Year's and wait in line, battle people to get a drink. Not here. Not here, guy. There's plenty of seating. You could actually probably come late and still be able to get a table or two. So uh, this isn't your normal New Year's Eve. Uh, 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 tons of people. And, and that's probably why I didn't want to go to Vegas, guy. I, I have an crowds. issue with crowds, man. You have an issue with crowds I as have, well. like, a big problem with crowds. I can't handle crowds. And then the drive, four and a half hours. Like, if yeah, I had the private that's my jet thing. status right that's now, that's my thing. Is the, then maybe the drive. I could have done it, yeah. My thing is the drive. I, I, I don't like that drive. I don't look forward to that drive. 
even if I'm just writing, I give me uh, something to knock me out or better put some tunes on. What's up, Rafael? Hey, the, you know, like people always ask me, you want to go play golf? And I always tell them, nah. nah, I can't see wasting five and a half hours of my life. You Hit know, the like, ball. I'll, yeah, I'll play nine holes. I'm Who fine. chased it? Hit the ball. But go to chase spend it. five and a half hours of my day, six hours of my day. Walking. Playing golf. And golfing. So here's the problem. That Vegas trip is four and a half hours. I might as well go play around of golf. Might as well. So that You'd was probably one enjoy of the, it a little bit. You know, and then Kathy was sick, coughing up big old green lugs. Yeah. And uh, and uh, on the couch, all curled up, didn't sleep. And she says it's because she was coughing, but it's bullshit. She's one of these fuckers. Probably just that, wanted some sleep. Nah, you know what it is? She's one of those bingers. She had uh, catch up on. Uh, on the Walking Dead or something? All those little series she likes to watch. All Did she shit. watch all six episodes? She's got to watch like 10 years. She watched all of the OA and says, damn, is ten, that it? 10 episodes all in one night. Did she watch all the Stranger Things? So I think she like put something in her mouth that's going to make her cough. So she gets up in the middle of the night and creeps out to the TV and claims the next day that it was... Uh, Definitely, so she could watch her. And the stupid does it when she has to work the next day. Oh, yeah, that. You have to go to work all day. All tired. And can't see, and is crying because she's so tired because she's been watching these shitty movies all night. Actually, they're all the same. They're all crying. Somebody getting fucked by a cute stick, you know, or whopped over the head, or, or, or the ones that I hate are the kids being fucking what, stolen and sold. What shows stuff. are you watching, Rick? I really don't. Crime know. CSI fucking stories. Oh. Where now she's into fucking Al Qaeda, all oh. the military Al Qaeda movies and series and shit. Nice. How many times can you listen to somebody say Allah Akbar and fucking bomb a place? How many times can you fucking watch a show about that? I can count on one hand. Let me tell you how it goes. The white dudes and occasional token black guy they put in there fucking <laughs> invade a town that looks like it's been fucking ravished for 30 years. There's no furniture in the place. They're all huddled around a piece of coal. And they come in there and they fucking shake them down to get information of where the bad guys are. Oh, right. And then what? Then the bad guys come, they kill them all, and they go home. End and of one guy story. has to die. Usually the black guy, but still, you know. End of that's story. how the fucking stories go. That's amazing. So, and then how many series can they make about this one fucking thing? Uh, until when the um, audience catches on? Oh my god. Two seasons. I then, was thinking of making a top ten list. No of shit, I'd rather no. do than watch that. Top ten list of things I'd rather do than binge like watch all those torture with. things, like when they put the stick under your nails. I'd rather be waterboarded. Waterboarder, yeah, 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 yeah. I would actually even go for the uh, tea bagging if that if that was a, so, some torture. No, that sounds kinky. That <laughs> no, sounds like no. Maybe. I would I would I would actually think that was torture if I was just right. tea bag me as right. a form of torture. Huh? But you had a smile on your face when you were talking about it. I think it might be a oh, fetish. This is, this is torture, like folks, man. I don't know. Okay, if you're Chinese out there and you said he's talking about tea. He wasn't talking about drinking tea, fuckers. He was talking about another man's balls resting on his nose. That would be a form of on torture. The bridge of, okay, just imagine a pair of sunglasses Big on somebody's face. Sunglasses. Right. Replace those sunglasses with some dude's ball sack. Scrotum face. Right. A fucking they call hairy, him sweaty set of face. balls. You've got a resting beautiful on his nose. Of face. Resting on his nose. So that's the vision that guy has. That's what brought a smile to his face. Giggly. That uh, uh, another man teabagging. As a form of torture. As a form of torture. I'd rather have. And when he says torture, he's talking about S and M and bondage, <laughs> where the dude chains them up, puts a leather strap thing around him. Puts one of those little rubber uh, balls in his mouth to make him look like that pig that they're roasting, and then gently, gently politely, closely, seductively, caringly, rests his nuts, caressing, right on the bridge of his nose, right on the tip, and says, "Delicious." <laughs> That's what kind of sick fuck you got here in the co-host chair. Yep. 
That's what he dreams of. Other Those are the things he looks torture. forward to when he's in the sack at home. Electrocution. For his wife to put her ball sack on him. Electrocution. <laughs> Low-level electrocution. <laughs> That's awful. That's horrible. Sick and twisted and demented. What Andy are you Becker, what's up? What are you drinking tonight, Rick? I'd like to say thanks to our uh, sponsor, 805 by Firestone. You drink at 805. 805. If you're at a barbecue, you're out on around the town, and you want to get uh, get a little wild tonight, grab yourself an 805 up to the bar, 805 by Firestone, one of the best beers you can get. So what are we expecting tonight? Are we expecting people to get naked and run loose in this place? I mean, what's going on? I don't know. Got waitresses in kilts, and I got a little... Irish vibe going on here. You think the kilts that they wear, like the ones that the guy wears, the guys don't wear any kind of underwear? No, I you think they're they playing commando in those fucking. Uh, yeah, they do. The guys. I, I do know. I, yeah. This is this is true. This is true. This is a fact. A fun fact, everybody. If you see a Scottish guy wearing a kilt, he's probably running commando. He has no fucking underwear on. No boxer briefs. No boxers. Not even a athletic supporter. He's got balls hanging to the floor. Depending on his age. Uh, what's that say? It, it should only take four hours. To what drive should? to Vegas. I don't know. Oh, drive to Vegas? Yeah. Well, it's four hours and 23 minutes if you're doing the speed limit. If you're doing the speed limit. So four hours is doable. Yeah. What's the difference between four hours and four and a half, fucker? It's yeah, still half the half hour it doesn't... Oh, four, it's gonna take four hours. Fuck no. Well, four and a half. It's only gonna take four. Okay, fuck it. Let's go. Let's go. That half hour makes all the difference in the Big world. Big difference. It made the difference in my hemorrhoid popping out or not. That's what that fucking uh, uh, extra half hour did. That uncomfortable feeling. Were you, you ever driven so far? You gotta change your underwear when you stop. I. No. <laughs> I had to think about it. I had to think about it. It's, no. no. That's a no. That's a your negatory. Ass goes to sleep and you can't feel your legs. You feel like a fucking That one, I, that one has happened. It's everything else fell asleep except for me, the eyes and the driver itself. So. Or have you ever made that 4-hour drive and got your dick sucked the whole way? No. That'd be fucking amazing, huh? That'd be a waste of That'd be talent. 4 right. hours. Poor girl with that Imagine lock the jaw. jaw. Log jaw. She like not use one anymore, jaw. but you know what you got head for 4 hours. That'd you got it. Great. Yeah, you know. So the things we think of on the road. <clears throat> you could have somebody feeding you grapes and caviar, or can your dick suck? Which would you take? Ooh, ooh, that's tough. That's still tough. <laughs> that's a toss up. That's still toss up. Well, we're gonna have the band 91 Octane. They're setting up their equipment right now, but we're gonna have them come over and do a little interview and tell you all about uh, the band and My how question. they got to where they are and all that. My question is. Where are they setting up at? In the front. Oh, in the front. All right, so people, like I said, explicit warnings out uh, for explicit language and content. So if you got kids with the earmuffs on, they don't need to hear this shit. All right, and then if uh, if you really want to see and hear the show, at least see it in quality, go on to uh, go on to uh, Podbean. Go on to. Uh, YouTube, iTunes, uh, go on to Google Voice, go and on definitely music. get all the and updates. watch it on, listen to it on there because it sounds way better. I put it on here just so I can hang out with you guys while we do the show. That's it. So if the quality sucks, well, no shit. Blame it on the rig. Look at it. Well, we're going through Facebook, right? So uh, David Medina, what's up? Happy New Year, dog. Nick Flores, Happy New Year. Brett, I already told you Happy New Year. Kathy, Happy New Year. Why are you sending this? You're sitting right next to me. All right. So uh, let's get uh, Rafaelito. You want to come on? Let's get a guest on here. Plus, hey, when the person comes on, we also get there 2,000 <laughs> people. It's exposure, fuckers. It's exposure. So it won't let me. I can add David Medina. Oh, there's Raphael. All right, Chito, pick up. We're bringing you on. And you'll be live. Live from Vista, California. Guy Murray, Rick Sauce, the Polona Chubby Show. We're here. Come down. It's not too late. 
Vista Village downtown, Vista Village pub, come down. You're going to hear 91 Octane bring in the 2018. Come on down. Rafaelito, I'm adding your dog. What's up? You can't bring him on. All right. Well, I tried. Sorry about your luck. Chu, are you ready for your interview? Chu, are you ready? All right. David Medina, I'm adding you. Come on. Chu, you ready for your interview? She you says gotta no. come on here and tell everybody how it is living with the sick and demented motherfucker. Or she could tell us some dirty secrets. Dirty secrets? She goes, Guy no wants to hear some secrets. dirty secrets, Ma. She says no on the dirty secrets. That's some okay. freaky stuff, Ma. No, no, I didn't say freaky stuff. I just said. All right, come on, David. It says it's adding. We'll see what happens. All right, well, that's adding. I'm going to see if we can get a guest here to come, Guy. Let's see if. Uh, let's see. Hey, who's the brave one of the group that wants to represent? What? Who's the brave one in the group that wants to represent? Come on. Grab the hot seat. Oh, guy, come over. Listen, you guys, whatever. What's up? All right, so we're live on the Polona Chubby Show. We're nationwide. Coming to you from New Year's Eve for the special edition show. We have our first guest of the night coming in to tell us what they're up to for New Year's Eve. You guys are out there partying. We got all our buddies watching from Las Vegas, Nevada at the Pennywise Show. What's your name? My name is Evangeline, sir. Evangeline. My name is Rick. They call me Pallone because oh. I'm bald and beautiful. So am right. I. So, uh, what, uh, you from Vista? Uh, yeah, in San Diego. Let's okay. just call it San Diego. All right. And born and raised in the area? Born and raised. Anybody else is a non-Diegan. Beautiful, beautiful. And what Thank brought you. you out to the wonderful establishment here, Vista Village Pub on New Year's Eve? I'm going to have to be 100% honest. It was the pot pies. The pot pies. Yes. <laughs> and a lot of fate and accident, I'm sure. Her, right? That's how the rest of us are here. That's how we ended up in Vista. It's like, oops, why are now, we here? Now it's the uh, microbrew capital of the world, but who would ever thought, you know? Vista? Yeah, everybody says, where do you live? And you say Vista. I'm like, oh, shit. That's where Mother Earth is. That's it where Belcher like, Beaver is. That's where all the breweries are. I feel like there's a couple more things Vista's known for, not well, here. Yeah, meth, <laughs> meth is one of them. Meth and a shitload of Mexicans. But hey. look, so we, hey, I'm Mexican. I can say What's that. Fuckers, don't get excited. I'm 100% Latino. Hablo Espanol también. We do this show in Mexico. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't get fucking uptight. You can say that shit. Right. So, uh, so you, what? Uh, you work around in the area? What I do you work, do? Yeah, I work at a gemstone gallery. I'm on my way to becoming a graduated gemologist, hopefully nice. this year. Did yeah. you go to the uh, place over here in Carlsbad? The Gemological Institute there of America. You go. That Absolutely. place is nationally. World renowned. World renowned. It's yes. the number one headquarters in the entire world. There's two so. here there's, and where? And I think there's one. No, there's a couple. There's one in New York, I believe. There's one in New York well. and, and Carlsbad. I think, Carlsbad. I think that's it. I think they have like an unofficial. Do they have an campus. annex in Antwerp or where? <laughs> There's so many in like a different country. <laughs> where, where all the acidic Jews are? Is that what oh it is? Oh my god! <laughs> You're not wrong. They're all diamond. They're all diamond people. So, uh, uh, and then so we do. You're you're gonna be a gemologist? Yes, sir. That's what you do. Who do you do? Is the boyfriend here, husband here? Who do I do? do, uh, do? Oh, that's not a thing that's on the list of things oh. to talk about, sir. Okay. We no don't problem. do nobody. Nobody. No I'm problem. actually a, a nun. You're a nun? Yeah, I joined a convent. As nice. <laughs> what the fuck? You're never <laughs> interviewed a nun. Are you celibate? Of course. And who isn't celibate? Uh, I think I'm, at this I'm point. I'm going to buy a bit. So like it's. <laughs> no, like every time you give it up, you. <laughs> that's a <the> joke. <laughs> <laughs> going to sell a bit. He's looking for, to buy a bit. There you go. Uh, I like to celebrate my uh, uncelibacy. My uh, I like to celebrate my uh, un monogamy. Uh, that was. <laughs> are you married? Yeah. Oh. There's Mama right there. Hey, it's our first show she's ever been to too. So you guys are like best buddies. Oh, she I never love come to be your best friend. She's come to my comedy shows. I'm a stand-up comic. That's how we started all this. That's very but, nice. Uh, yeah, so. I've been wanting to go to a stand-up comedy show. Really? Anytime you want to go, let me know. We where got, do you, where do you play? We're everywhere. Oh, we, I do La Jolla Comedy Store. Uh, oh, no way. Wherever I haven't been kicked out of for talking <laughs> shit to people. All right, all right. That's I see my, how it uh, goes. Best. So are, are you into uh, guys, girls? What's your... What's your? I, I like guys. Girls, guys? why not? I mean, romantically, not girls. Romantically, guys. Sexually, you both. You why don't not? Uh, occasionally wander into the... Uh, 
to the uh, uh, female side. Like you're just you're. I'll dip a toe in every once in a while, yeah, I suppose. You, but I don't know. I don't fully dive. No. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. Fully what about dive. you? Do you dip your toes in both pools? You know, I've been thinking about it. I saw uh, uh, Enrique Iglesias on TV. Uh huh. He looked pretty hot. So he I is? was thinking. Okay, you're uh, not wrong there. He yeah, is. if I was gonna put in another dude's butt, that'd probably <laughs> be the one. Okay, wait, but what about like receiving and shit? What's, oh. Yeah, that's like well, the real know. question. That's when you know you really love the guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, when you, you really love him when you put it in his butt? No, the oh, other way around. When you let <laughs> him you. put it in your butt. Yeah, that's like ultimate yeah. trust. Now, get yeah, it's one thing, but in the butt, that's a commitment. Exactly. <laughs> that's that's you know. I might have to be like when they strap you down to the board and put the straps on. <laughs> you got to get like yeah, a And then bite on the, uh, a towel. <laughs> Basically. You're gonna feel a little pressure. Oh fuck! Yeah, it's yeah. like going to the doctor getting a shot or something. Right. You don't yeah, know. it's like uh, what do they call it? A prostate exam? Uh, I don't. I don't personally. I That's don't have an experience the with the prostate. And the doctor goes elbow okay, deep in your butt. Okay, I know what the butt. exam is. Yeah. I don't know how it goes. It's terrible. <laughs> So are, you're in your uh, mid twenties, I'm sure. Twenty two. Yeah. Right. Just got there. You know. You know. So you're you're a young and young. Yeah, uh, this is only your second year being in the bars without a fake ID celebrating okay, can New I just Year's say, Eve. Never had a fake ID. I was a very respectful little child and I right. followed the law. So you never had part. a drink before you were 21? No, I didn't say I never had a drink. I just never went to an establishment that served it to me. <laughs> right. And your drug of choice is? Weed. 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 I mean, it's going to be legal in about, what, five hours? In a couple so. hours, it's legal. Woo! Oh, weed. weed is legal. <laughs> you can't smoke it anywhere. But it's legal. But you can still smoke it everywhere. So you can't smoke it in your car. You can't smoke it outside. You can't smoke it at a restaurant. You can't smoke it in the street. In your house. What you could do for the last gazillion years. So what fucking changed? Nothing. Nothing changed. Except if the cops come and bust down your door and they find weed, you're okay now. That's the only thing that changed. And now they get to regulate everybody everywhere. And I'm fucked. I hate it. I don't want it to be legal. I was fine working under cover for a long time. Okay, but we do realize that the legalization in California will help a lot, help the decriminalization all over the states. So that uh, helps people that are wrongly incriminated. And that's okay, a big deal. Fine. I don't care how much you don't like it. We care about fine. other people. All they want to do is <laughs> take all your money, take all your shit. Well, all you want to do is take people's money and take their shit. So I'm more into helping bigger... them. I'm not <laughs> patience. Patience is the virtue, but it's not one of Benjamin Franklin. All right, let me ask you this. Ask anybody me. know anybody that works in a shop or owns a shop, a dispensary? Yeah, a couple. All right. All right, so they were getting like almost $3,000 a pound, growers okay. like us, were getting $3,000 a pound at one time. Then it dropped to $1,800 a pound. Why? Yeah, I never because there was an influx of... Uh, uh, outdoor or what we call a uh, greenhouse and they pick the strains that look that can that look the same grown in diverse conditions so they can pass this what we call fuller weed yeah. where it, it looks like indoor but it's not so they can still charge that 10 15 bucks a gram mm -hmm. you know 20 bucks a gram and it's outdoor and they're charging what's indoor prices all right so that's fine so they want to sell it they want me to sell it to them for 1800 a pound, right? So that should change the price that the patients are coming in and paying. Because these guys that have these shops, they are into helping the patients, right? Yes. The only reason they're in this business is for helping the patients. Bullshit is what I say, because if you just got the price dropped in half, why don't you pass on that savings to your customers? They're not. They're still they're charging them the same fucking price. But it's not a business, it's a non-profit fucking organization that is there to help the customers that are dying of cancer and other ailments. Okay, you're not wrong there, but the only reason it was a nonprofit organization was because if it was not their donations, right. would not be legal. The only right. reason it was legal is because it was technically nonprofit on and a donation not base. It's supposed to show a profit. It's exactly. supposed to be an exchange well, we just of, got school. Well, it was they don't supposed give to be shit an, about your health. They just need that money. A co-op and an exchange of product and money for your time, not for profit. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, if you want to be so that's what it was intended to be. Yeah, you're good. No, you're good. The, so that's what it was intended to be. So my, my question to all the guys that own the shops out there, if you're going to pay me half for my pound of weed, then pass on the fucking savings to your customers and sell them for 20 bucks a gram instead of fucking 40 bucks a gram or whatever the fuck you're selling it for. I'm just going to say, you know? if you're buying it for 40 bucks a gram, somebody's whatever. ripping you off. 10 bucks a gram. <laughs> I just 
messing just with you, man. Just coming here from me, I'm half the price of all the fucking shops, so whatever. <laughs> but anyway, that's my only grief with it. That's my only problem. I want everybody to make money. I want everybody to be happy. I hope everybody has wonderful crops. But don't bullshit. Everybody's in it for the cash. You're not in it to fucking help people. Well, Let's stop bullshit. If you, you don't know? have cash, would you be able to help people as much as you could? Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. If I had enough money, I wouldn't give a fuck. I'd donate all my profits to some charity. Uh, helping homeless kids, you know? I only help I'm homeless kids. I don't help homeless adults because those fuckers had a choice in life and they chose their path. The kids were born into it and they don't have a fucking choice. And so I think it sucks for the kids. That's a little too black and white for me. I'm just going to say I'm there's so many the different majority. circumstances that you can come with. I don't care if your fucking dad fucked you, uh, your mom fucked hey, you. I think whatever, you should care. Whatever happened, you and lost exactly your job. And that's exactly why the fact if you have a whatever nonprofit organization, happens, we know you're pocketing happens. that money. Shit happens. Life happens. If you want to blame all the things that happen in your life on the reason you are the way you are today, then you're going to be a fucking miserable loser for the rest of your life. I just think, accept that that shit happened. It's in the past. And fucking wake up and create a future for yourself. You're right to a certain extent. However, I would like to argue, though, that there is a certain discrimination and a, like, a discernment that comes with the fact that shit did happen to you. Right. And you have to live with that. So what are you going to do with that? You're going to get better and grow from so, that? Or are you going to so let it like, bring you down? Like I was telling him before, when I was an altar boy at the, in Catholic no, school. that's the altar boy. I got my, <laughs> I got, yeah, I got my pee, pee touched by a priest. So what? What the fuck does that matter? It matters you because you don't want that shit happening to other touch. boys. So it happens. What happens right? is that you now don't I want could, that shit happening to other sit generations. I could back and just be laying back and take it in the butt every day because of what happened to me in, in my my childhood. Okay. But okay. I decided to rise above it okay. and make something of myself and not worry about getting my pee-pee well, touched by Father O'Malley. It happens. Fuck, it happens. Father O'Malley, number one, you're right. a dick. <laughs> 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 number two, number two, just because it happens doesn't make it okay. Number three... Right. The reason it happened is so that you can good? prevent it. For oh, no, you get out of here. That's a natural, biological. We're not talking about that. That's like science. We're, not, we're on a different subject. The guy is going to take over right now. I'm going to go have another 805. If you're in the neighborhood, come pick up an 805 by Firestone. One of the best beers you'll ever have. Thanks. Wow, that's a hot one for my band right there. Bello never backs down. So like, hey, and that was, that was pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Actually, that's pretty awesome. I'm sorry, what was your name again, My sir? My name Guy. They call me Chubby. Chubby? Chubby. Chubby. Yeah. Chubby? Yeah. It's, you just uh, got a little chub chub. Yeah. I think that should be your nickname. But what if we call you Skitskin? I'm redefining it. I'm redefining it. Oh, that's a nice shirt you have there. Thank you. I'm Is that your own? No, I wish it was. Um, yeah, yeah, no, my wife, she calls me Chubby. Oh, okay. Was, so if your wife calls you, that's fine. Yeah, it's okay. a nickname. It was, that's your dub chubby. No, and then, and then there's, yeah, and then there's yeah, Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So ladies, thank you. You guys are freaking awesome. All right, so ah. guys over here, I'm here. We're gonna uh, kind of uh, tag team this microphone. It wouldn't be the first time two guys took one cock, but we're gonna try it here. Well, you would know about that, wouldn't yeah, you? We wouldn't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> he likes tea bagging though. Salty ones right here. He awesome. loves them. All right. Nuts. <laughs> Honestly, though, does that surprise you? No, Anybody not at all. No, hey, so Danny, get in here real quick. Wait, 91. Wait, it's so everybody, we're here at the Palona Chuck Show doing a special edition New Year's Eve here at Vista Village Pub. We got 91 Octane in the house, Danny Costito, the founder, the bassist, the brains behind the whole fucking project here tonight, bringing in the 2018. Danny, what's up? Tell everybody in America what's going on here at Vista Village tonight with 91 Octane. It's two guys with one... Two, two guys, guys with one cock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we went over that already. All right, he doesn't do comedy. Hey, listen, That's why uh, he's in a fucking band. All right, so tell us about your band, dickhead. Hey, the, <laughs> hey, the band's playing tonight, uh, 9 to midnight. Come on out. We play a bunch of cool punk rock cover songs. Uh, hopefully, Rick Salas will put on a show like he did last year. If no one knows who Rick Salas is, it's uh, Palan. You're, right? you're Palan or you're Chubby? Palan. Palan? Is it Palan or Chubby? Which one are you? I can't get confused. He's thinner than you, though. Oh, shit! Fire! Anyway, I gotta go finish setting up. See you guys. Hey, come on out. That's Danny for 91 Octane. He sings way better than he fucking does comedy. <laughs> so come out, bring in the 2018 with 91 Octane. I hear it's like Pop Goes Pump for old people, so. Yeah, yeah. It's a bunch of 40 year old guys wishing they were young again, playing rock and roll songs, and they say it's uh, sped up, a little faster, a little punked out. It's really not. 
It's, really, it's a fucking normal. It sounds like normal. Oh, does it sound right? like normal? Yeah. I've never I heard them before. They hear it because they're so fucking slow. Now they're forty something. Oh, okay. That's how it works. So Shit it's just like down a lot. Like, so come out, hey, if you're if uh, ev- if everybody bailed out on your plans tonight and you're sitting at home and it's like rub one out or come down here, come down here and check it out for 2018. Be around somebody. Okay. Stay Can I just say like objects in your house? <laughs> rub it out first. Mr. Village Pub. There's a lot of cool people here celebrating the new year, drinking, doing drugs in the bathroom, out on the street. I'm sure. Come down and uh, and check Don't it out. <laughs> it's a good time for all. I'm sure there'll be groping involved. Now nobody ever believes anybody when they say they're molested anymore because everybody's claiming to be. Why are we back on this topic again, boy? What's the matter with you? Because Hollywood's blowing the fuck up right now. It's a well, hot topic. don't act like they're right. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, even the guys, well, when they claim to be guys, Corey Feldman, not much of a guy, I got touched when he was that. younger somewhere by somebody. I think that... Possibly, we could show a little bit more empathy for these people. I don't give Just a fuck. I don't know. I'm I know we don't give a fuck, but you should give a fuck about the children, man. Hey, better them than me. Sorry about but your But it was you, too. It life. was you, too. I'm not telling anybody to feel sorry for me. Nobody wants to feel sorry for you, so don't worry. No, it's good. <laughs> so we're down here tonight. We're having fun. Guy, uh, are your people tuning? Who's that? Who's, let's see who we got on the horn. <laughs> yeah, hey, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. If you think of anything moving, come back over and yell it in the microphone. Yell it. Just you wait. Just you wait. Get a stroke of genius about your brain. <laughs> Baby doll, this is what we do. All right, Pillow and Chubby back on. Guys on his, I'm on mine. We're riding in the 2018 into the new year. It's going to be fucking great. Wish you were here. Wish I was somewhere else. <laughs> 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 Take my spot. Let's fucking switch. Let me be somewhere cool on a yacht somewhere in the South Pacific, sipping champagne with the old lady. Yeah, uh, that would be cool. Or how about in Paris, Eiffel Tower, bringing in the new year with the fucking Frenchies? Only Why not? That'd be fun. Huh? Sure. Let's Let think of all the other places we could be. Uh, and we know. Where, where else? Uh, uh, at New Year's Eve with uh, Pennywise 2018. That's where we got tickets for going to waste. Next! <laughs> he keeps bringing that up like he's missing it. I am. Man. Poor thing. Poor, Poor baby. Poor baby. But it's fine. And we talked about you wouldn't be able to do the New York. It's cold. Joe Homan, what's up? Joe Homan's in the house. From where? Where is where, he's from? Uh, Watch it from Discovery Bay. You know the Delta up in Northern California. Yeah. Yeah, he's tuning in tonight. How's it going, Kirk McHenry? What's up? They're all tuning in. Of all the places I would be, Kirk, on New come on Year's for New Year's Eve, Eve dog. 2018. Let me put your little face in the right corner. Oh, is Kirk back? Your fat again? face will fit in the fucking little corner right there. Don't worry Kirk about it. Kirk doing work. Let Kirk come on. Kirk, Kirk wants to come and do some preaching. Fuck, you can preach. I don't care. 2018. Talk about why we're all here. Give us a purpose. Give us some reason. Give us a reason for living. I smell a little Budinsky in wow, the air. Somebody's firing up some coal somewhere. I smell a little Budinsky in the house. Smells like What's some that? green crack. What's up? What's up? Maybe it's just some oil. Somebody is blazing out on the patio. The wind's blowing this way. Contact high. Hello. Um. I can almost see Jesus. Keep it coming. Wow. Say no to dope. <laughs> BRB. It's old. It's before your time. No to dope. Ugh to drugs. You know, oh. <laughs> oh, guy is going to search out the weed. It looks like he's like a hound. He's like a hound dog. I don't drink. I don't swear, but I'll smoke a joint. Yeah. So here we go, Kirk. McHenry, come on, man. I tried adding you on there. Trying to come through this year. Happy New Year, bro. Come on the air right here. I can add you, foe. All you got to do is say hi for a minute. Do like a 30-second, two, three-minute interview. That's all. Don't try and be like all like you're super famous and shit now, and you can't do a fucking interview for free. Come on. Trying to pull an Al Magical on me or something. Oh, no, not an Al Magical. 
That would be good. <laughs> like I almost Jamal. lost my seat. That young lady was hot with that gemology. She's a freaking fireball. Joe Holman's watching. Fred from, from you know what? He's, he was a dude that used to sell ads uh, in the uh, Brentwood and Discovery Bay area yeah. when I was at the dealership. And he still like kind of keeps in touch here. It's kind of cool. Danny Becker goes way, way back. Joe Holman. Hey, that's a DJ Joey H. <laughs> right? On the ones and two spinning. I, I swear yeah. he sounds like he's from Jersey. Joey H. Joey. No, he's the white Portuguese guy from Discovery Bay. Joey. Go figure. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like that. Who said that? Oh, shit. You know, him and that phone that? right there. Oh, Kurt. No, I know. I know. Hey, he says, he says I, you know, you know, I love you. But just, hey, when, if I click you over there, just jump on, dog. What's up? All you got to do is click on, put your mug in the face. You got a camera on your phone? Getro has cameras, don't they? <laughs> Getro PC, brought to you the Inland Inner Urban Domestic um, Violence beats all day. Program. You get beats yeah. all day. Yeah. Getro PC. Oh, guest declined interview. All right, dog. All right. All right. See if you work in this town again. <laughs> just messing. Just playing, dog. Just playing. Just did a quick survey just of the playing. area. Oh, Joe Holman. Beats, Joe Holman said that, Ma. Beats all day. Yeah. Hey, come over here and say hi to Joe. All right, here. I'm going to fuck it. Just did a survey. There's, che there's Chewy right there. Chewy's just over did, there hanging out in the corner. Just sick did as a dog. survey of the area. Coughing 91 Octane is yeah. setting she's up. Sicker than a and dog. We're going she's here fucking video. tripping it out. Ma. What's up, what's up? Are your peeps coming through? All your girls, your clan? Or are they up at the casino pulling arms? They pulling arms. You know, the Asian people gotta be in the casino. It don't matter what holiday it is. Hey, it could be your new year, their new year. They're in the casino pulling the arm, playing the games. Whipping, ripping. Asian people can't get away from that fucking casino. They love that shit. So, they're up there, all her people. Wish them luck out there. What, who else is out there celebrating our Muslim brothers? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, they're out there me, doing their me thing. Like, me making salami. Right? Making, yeah, Assalamu bacon. I'm a salam <laughs> Obama salam some bacon. Obama's making the comeback. He was voted the uh, most memorable president and the most honored well, gentleman. Well, no shit. It's the first fucking black president ever, <clears throat> and he didn't get fucking shot. Ah. That was the biggest. And you know, they're like, what What do you think that Obama did that was the most important in his presidential eight years? Survived. He, <laughs> he survived. <laughs> that was his biggest accomplishment. His biggest accomplishment yeah. is survival, yeah. baby. He didn't get shot. That's a big one. Yeah. Yeah. If now, you don't survive. Hey, now you know how many white supremacists there are in this country? How many? How the fuck did he make it eight years without getting shot? Really? How oh, was because that? They were doing the background checks and the bullet the bullet cells. Yeah. They, 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 they got them under check. Yeah. I don't know how he made it. He probably, uh, ah, fuck, I don't know. I think Trump has a, less of a chance of making it than uh, Obama had. Here we go. Hello. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I believe you. I, I truly do. Because there's people doing crazy shit out there. Like, like for no reason at all, they're killing people and then killing themselves. It's yeah, stupid, that, right? That, that so Colorado why not shoot, one's why, why don't you think that somebody's going to shoot Trump and then shoot themselves? Fuck it. As much as everybody hates him, it's probably going to happen. I'm not saying I want it to happen. Don't nobody come down here, fucking Secret Service. Oh, fucker, you're trying to incite the whole thing. Bullshit. I wasn't trying to do shit. I'm just stating the obvious. That's probably going to happen. Most likely. Man, we're going to interview. Come on, America dude. wants to hear from 91 Octane. They don't even know who the fuck you are. <laughs> Can we have some fun? They got like six followers. They're huge. In Idaho. And, and population of 10. They're massive. All right, guy. What's your wildest New Year's Eve ever? What's it like? It doesn't have to be like perverse. Or what is the, the like the craziest New Year's Eve? that you had like unexpected whatever the craziest new year's eve i ever had was when i was working post duty as a security guard 
at a apartment complex just over the hill on Copper Hill called The Dancers. And I work in my beat, walking, and I had the, I had the um, ultimate, ultimate opportunity to bring in the New Year's with a drunken lush. Nice. She offered right. me champagne. Right. Invited me into her dojo, her into dojo. her apartment. And she had all the moods and the lighting down. Did you say, uh, did she say, are you looking, are you looking for company? I asked her, why was she alone on New Year's Eve? Are you looking for a date? Are you looking for a friend? And so um, I entered for a drink. It was champagne, so I did take a swig, right. um, start burning, and so I this spit it out. This is the sequence. This is the sequence. The sequence. You would look like that, like a fucking disco ball. Disco ball. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's kind of cute. No, actually. it just shows that you're 40 fucking years old wearing sequins. Whatever. Not like that. So there's a couple stories. Uh, I don't know if they're New Year's Eve because most of these stories I was barely coherent. But uh, uh, there's a couple of little uh, crazy things that happened. What happened, Rick? Well, we were at, uh, where were we? At? You know what? Menu? I do. This one. So we, uh, you already know what you want. Look, the guy's looking at the menu like he's going to try and get something different. He knows what he's going to get. Wings. Fucking chicken. Chicken wings. Wings. Come on. Acting like you can read and shit. Good I luck. I didn't see the number seven special. <laughs> I want the number seven special. Keep it real, dog. Come on. Can I get the number uh, seven special? Black man's ordering chicken wings. What the Taco fuck is Bell. The special? They had onion rings. I just wanted to see what the variety was. Yeah, I'm sure you were going to order hummus or something. And the number seven something special. Something healthy so you could live for many, many years. Rick, <laughs> a safety tip, if you will. Yes. For you and the listeners, no matter where you at, wherever you go, the number seven right. is always going to be safe. It's going to be good. It's going to be the basic. The Why corner. is that? It's the one item that's right in the middle of the aisle, in the middle of the selection, the number seven. So that's like uh, the go-to. It, when in doubt, if you don't know what's good on the menu, order number, the number seven. seven. Now, is this some like uh, ancient Chinese proverb, or did the medicine man tell you that one time when you were in Palm Springs and took a wrong turn? Actually, the guy that does the uh, man versus food, uh -huh. and he travels on the Food Network, Who, the and he always chubby fucker. No, uh, yeah, the little chubby fucker. Right. Um, yeah, he always recommends the number seven. Don't go with the house special because that's usually the most common and what, right. the, they, what they want you to have. Right. But if you go with the number seven, it's going to be the safe item. I heard the house special was always like the stuff that's about to go bad. They just throw that, all that all shit together right. and they serve it. Yes, that's, that's probably, the, probably the truth in that. So if we can get a little FaceTime with the camera. Special. From the kitchen. Because it's always what hasn't sold. It's always what they haven't sold. Right? Come on, foe! Yeah, I mean, we'll go as long as we, you know. My phone's gonna die soon. Oh, iPhone? Yeah. I'm here for you, man. It don't work that way. If I ten turn minutes. off these people, ten not. minutes. Ten right, minutes. We'll, we'll talk about. I, we'll give them I'm ten never minutes. Never a lack of shit to talk about. So Who's it's really loud. All right. So uh, <laughs> did you just say that? <laughs> representing Team Fupa. What is it? So the team manager for Team Fupa, please come. I know you need a visual, people. I'll give it the visual. Hold on. Yes, sir. I get the crowd. All right. So. So.
Anyway, during our normal show, we're a lot more structured than this, but. All right, so this is, uh, you gotta pull up a mic. With no mic in your face, they can't hear you. All right, so Guy, Guy, come jump in on this one here. All right, so are we doing standard interview or do you want to say what the people, what you want the people to hear? God is great. All right, so it's <laughs> going to be the, uh, the pre-canned bullshit. Uh, come out, see 91 Octane. Uh, we're great. Uh, we wanted you to rock and roll into the new year, 2018. Hey, how come you can't see me in the picture? Uh, because I don't want everybody to fucking turn off. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi everybody. So hey, um, we're, we're at Vista Village Pub. I'm hanging out with one of my dearest uh, friends, uh, Pallon. Pallon. We're gonna have a lesson on how to Pallon. say Act like you're really Mexican and not just by <laughs> name. And then kind of uh, Pallon. Pallon. There you go. That was perfect. Nice. Yeah, it just rolls off your. So like we're here having fun. This is like my favorite podcast. One of my best friends and. Obviously, Chubby over here. We got Pallone's wife over here to the left. Yes. This is the first time she's ever been to one of these broadcasts. I know. She's probably, you're thrilled, right, Kathy, that you're here? Isn't it amazing? Look at her. She's uh, thrilled. It's like way different than you thought it would be. A she, podcast? Kathy's watching the oh, paint pill. Oh. You're watching the paint pill. What's the name of the place? I've never heard of it. This place is called Vista Village Pub. No, Tremont. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Anyway, shitty bar. I want to invite everybody in Facebook land and that's watching this. Come down. Like, um, we're going to play three hours of great rock and roll. Uh, with, we'll have a great hey, time. With like 20 breaks in between. 20 breaks in between, exactly. Because they're old fucks now and they can't play <laughs> 20 songs in a row without taking a fucking half hour break. They think they're union. <laughs> no, they, nobody told this fucker that. That cover bands haven't formed a union yet. Hey, so, hey we're, we're not a cover band. We're an original band, Vibe, that, we play, that plays covers. So They're an original band. Vibe. That plays other people's original music. band, Vibe. <laughs> we're stealing other people's jokes, right? Like no, you do. Never. Oh. Ever, ever. That's the difference. Oh. Uh, that's the difference. Woo. Anyway, no, I just want to say, them, hey. They play them with a little different twist. <laughs> we twist them up. Yeah. So, so it's, it, good. It, it's good. There'll it's be a good show. There'll be some fisting going on. So come on out. This is the Village Pub. 224 Main Street. He always makes reference to this fisting guy. Almost every show. I've never fisted. Have you ever fisted? No, and I hope never to because, <laughs> dude, if this paw fits up her shit, there's, there's a fucking problem. That's hot dog down the hallway. That's fucking, <laughs> hey, I got to ride. We're, we're going to go sound check. We'll see you soon. All right. So they're going to come back in a little while and talk about uh, nonsense. Their thing really isn't talking. It's not communicating with human beings. It's playing music. <laughs> All right, yeah, I get that sense that he's... Yeah. The only time he can get behind the mic is when he's crooning or something. His best line was fisting. Test, test, one, two, yeah. test. Take that. Fisting. Who gets enjoyment out of that? I don't understand. What's the benefit to that? I can only imagine. Donkey punching your chick in the shit. Ouch. I don't yeah. understand that. Like I said, dude, if that can fit, there's a fucking problem. Right. I'm going to send you a video. <laughs> I'm going to send you a video. I don't want to see it. Okay. I don't want to see it. He'll watch it like eight I times. I seen a horse cock one time, and that was enough. <laughs> that was enough. And I wow. saw it on accident. Oh, I, I also saw this thing, right, that scarred my mind for my life. Forever and ever, I'll be scarred. But this guy at work, I used to call him a buddy until he showed me this picture. And I don't know why the fuck he showed it to me. I never wanted to he see it. He thought it was a good idea It was at the Cousin time. Larry. Remember Cousin Larry? So he, he shows me Larry. this video. And I'm looking at it because it's back in the day when the phones weren't real clear. Okay. Where you barely had video, but you appreciated it. Right. Because it, they never had video before. So we had this video. And I'm looking, and you got to, like, squint in order to see what, like, to make out what's really on there. Like... It was like watching that grainy, grainy porn, you know? Oh, okay. So I'm watching this. When the download I'm trying speeds. to figure out what it is. And it looks like the dude's dick is hanging down, right? Right. But it's not. It was a dude fucking taking a shit. Ha. Huh. And it was <laughs> a log fucking hanging there. And the chick fucking oh. takes a bite of it. Oh. And probably that scarred my mind for forever a long time. and ever. It's probably been over 20 years. 
and my mind is still scarred. Like, I can't get that image out of my head. How fucking awful is that? Bro, about as bad as the one where the guy is smearing feces all over a, all over a girl, flicking cigarette butts at her, and then he whips out his dick and he whizzes on her. There's some sick and perverse things going on in this what, world. What are people thinking, like, when they take enjoyment out of that? I don't understand it. Jim Winkler, what's up, dog? Jim Winkler, tuning in. Hey, come on the air, John. Oh, Jim, do an interview. I want to hear how your 2018 New Year's Eve plans are. Why well, you can't bring Jim? Does nobody have a fucking phone with a camera? Um, they probably are mobile or some way aware that they don't want to go on camera. Why not? They don't love you like that. That's all I can say. Get over yourself, Rick. They don't love you like that, man. I'm the best. Look at me. Look at me representing and redefining it. That sound check is sounding pretty good over there. 91 yeah, Octane like is definitely good. They actually started going with the song that was on the radio. That's 91 Octane getting warm, getting red again, and all. I'll jiggy with it. Do they still say that? Is that something? Ma, do you want anything? Is that still? Is that something that they still say? Was that shepherd's pie? Chicken pie pie. Yeah. That young lady pie is off the hook, from what I hear. So this is a Palone and Chubby show, live from Vista Village Pub. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for caring. Thanks for spending your pre-New Year's Eve with us. I know there's a lot of places you could be, but you chose to spend it with us. That's meaningful. That makes me feel good. I guess eating chicken pot pie is what makes guy feel good. <laughs> Chubby's knee deep in some chicken pot pie. It's got chicken in it. It's got chicken in it? I'm going to jump on it. So he's uh, he's getting cozy with the pie. It's not a, never a bad thing to get cozy with pie. Yeah. I love it. I love that it's cherry pretty nice. pie. I like I like a good apple pie myself. Apple pie. I like peach pie mostly. If it looks like a peach, I'll stab it. Fuck this. Gonna go grab a it's part of the sound check on the video here. All right, so I'll be here on the microphone. Guy is going mobile. He's going to go check out the sound check. Get 91 octane on the sound check. Huh? What? John's a good drummer. Pyle's an excellent drummer. The singer's really good. So it's, uh, it's going to be a good show, I think. So, hey, uh... Since the co-host split on me, what uh, what's everybody out out there doing for New Year's Eve? Text it over. What's up? Kirk McHenry getting ready to go out with the wife. Yeah, sounds good. Where y'all headed? Where y'all headed? Who else is out there? Danny's here. Joe Holman, if you're still there, what's going on? What are you guys doing for New Year? Rafaelito, I thought you were going to patch in and say what's up. Guy is back. So this has been interesting. We didn't know what to expect of this whole thing about doing the podcast here uh, for New Year's Eve. I usually like our Wednesday deal better because we have this shit all planned out. What we're going to do, what we're going to say. It's all good. I've had fun hanging out with you guys for a minute.
There's the band doing the sound check. Turn yours way down. The less we can hear, the better. Turn Danny's mic down. Somebody, they were trying to get all the levels up, right? And ah, it was a test zone there. Nice. He, he screamed it out. Beautiful. So, Guy, I'm kind of inclined to uh, sign off. How long have we been on? Hour and a oh shit. Hour and a half. So we've been on for an hour and a half. My uh, battery is about to die. So, uh, I think we might just uh, call it a night and join us again next Wednesday. Unless, Guy, there's something you want to talk about? No, we're good. We're good. It's going to be a new year. going to be a new day. New year. Do you expect anything different or same old bullshit? No, I got some prospects going on. Got some, you know, so it's going to be very, very. I have a dream. Changed. It's going to be a new direction, a new day. That one day. We'll be all right. You will hear my voice. Thank you. Coming over the airways. Making America great again. I have this dream. You could croon, I bet. I bet you really could. I'll tell you what, uh, 2018, I think, uh, other than the normal bullshit all being the same, I think Pallone and Chubby, this show, is going to go uh, go huge. And uh, there's uh, somebody somewhere that's going to have a little pull that's going to hear, see our show, and take it to the next level. And Joe Rogan, move the fuck aside. Amen, brother. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled, guy, America, podcast world. Keep your eyes peeled for a little four-year-old that's going to be coming to the airways. Big June's in the house. Juna, little Ricky J coming to the airwaves. He's going to be some shit, doing some shit talking, some name calling, and hurting some feelings and breaking some hearts. So he's going to be the sickest four-year-old across America. Telling you how to fuck yourself every different way, politely. But he's gonna come to the airwaves and you're gonna you're gonna see some amazing shit because I live with this little fucker every day. And he amazes me on a daily basis. Yep. Uh, how rude, how obnoxious, how fucking outspoken a four-year-old can possibly be. That's I didn't real think life. he was capable to be told off and called a motherfucker by a four-year-old. But it is absolutely possible to get socked in the nuts, to be fucking just, just made to feel like a fucking retard by your own four-year-old kid. So I thought no better than to torment the world with putting him on the air. So it's going to be the daddy and dummy show, my four-year-old, and he's going to come on and he's going to uh, join me with making everybody smile. Uh, so we're going to be starting in 2018. He's going to be taking the microphone. We're going to get the studio built in the house there. And he'll be coming to you live from Casa de Salas or whatever you want to call it. The other show we're doing, Guy, I haven't told you about it yet. But the next show that's in the works is Wannabe Lawyers. It's two people that miss their calling in life went through schooling and everything, wanting to be attorneys, lawyers, and weren't able to because either fuck ups with their family or whatever you want to call it. Lack of support, fucking lack of drive by fucking people that are supposed to raise you. So there's a little animosity, whatever. So we're gonna give legal advice on topics, everyday topics. But we have no reason to give you any real legal advice. <laughs> but if you want to take it, that's your fucking problem. But we're going to give you legal advice, unsolicited, unbacked. Probably doesn't mean shit, but we're going to give it to you. Mama's going to give you the female perspective, the uneducated side. <laughs> 
the wrong angle always, the female side. And I'm going to give you the fucking absolute truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. The male version, which is always the right version. And if you believe the female, then you might as well be like Adam and eat the apple. And go down the wrong course and be damned for life. But that's your choice. She's going to give you the she's, I'm going to give you the he's. And it's going to be legal advice for you to do what you want. Right Most on. of it you can flush down the fucking toilet. But it's going to be entertaining. 2018 is going to bring it. The wannabe lawyers and the kid from hell, four years old, and growing bigger and badder. So look out for that in 2018, guy. Awesome. Looking forward to that, Rick. And also to raise the mic. Doing shows with you. Oh. Of course. Of course. The Plano Chevy Show is going to go to New Heights. Uh, we're going to have new topics, new guests, bigger, better. Start sending money, motherfuckers. The show isn't free. It costs money to run it. My bar tab every week is at least 50 bucks. So we need fucking loot. If you want me to get on here and entertain your asses for free, you're fucking wrong. Start sending money. Be sponsors for the show so we can get better equipment, we can get better guests. And I have these fucking deadbeat guests that we have sometimes on. Not the young lady. She was nice. She was free. Right? <laughs> I'm talking about these other fuckers that we have on that are shitty guests. Sh they give shitty fucking info. No, we need to get people that are famous on this thing to help carry the load. Me and Guy can't be the only two famous people on this show. We need more famous people. How about interviews with Yakov Marinov? Yeah, sure, whatever. I got that. So we'll get we'll get some some yeah. 2018 is going to be bringing bigger and better things. Not that it hasn't already been good. I know these uh, first 15 episodes have been the greatest part of your life, and we're uh, proud to uh, give that gift to you in 2017. You know, I know you go home from work every Wednesday and can't wait to tune us in. Where's my Pallone and Chubby? Where's my Pallone and Chubby? Yeah, just insert that thing, put it on vibrate, and we'll take care of the rest. We got you taken care of. Yes, we you got, got some Pallone. We got your you back. Some chubby. Yeah. Actually, it sounds like a sex toy, Pallone and Chubby. Pallone and Chubby. Ball and Chubby. Yeah. Isn't that what they ask for? That's what yeah. they want. They want nice and clean, shave that thing up, and they want girth. They want a nice chubby cock. So that's good. Pallone and Chubby. Think of us as your household dildo. Just keep batteries in us and keep us on, and we'll make you happy. Trust me. This has been the special edition episode the, what do they call it? N-Y-E. You know why I don't like that acronym, New Year's Eve? Because it reminds me of New York, and that's a shitty place as far as I'm concerned. It's so, a crazy uh, place to spend uh, yeah, New Year's fuck Eve, that though. Place. It's a bunch of assholes shoved in one little fucking jar. But anyway, so uh, we don't have any listeners there from New York, so fuck them. So uh, uh, this has been the special edition New Year's Eve. Broadcast from Vista Village Pub here in beautiful Vista, California with Rick Salas, Guy Murray, Palan and Chubby. We are thrilled once again to be here to provide fruitful entertainment for our young listeners. Doing the interview with John Powell. I got to go take a shit. I'll be back in a little while. Wow. Hey, John Powell, welcome to the Pallone and Chubby podcast. How are you doing this evening? I'm good. How are you? All right, man. You look good. You look like you're ready to bring in the new year. Got your Mad Hatter's hat on, 2018 glasses. And Thank you. And a lovely striking bow tie. It's huge. So when you're, when you're laying down beats and licks for uh, 91 Octane, what keeps you driven, brother? Well, drums have always been a passion of mine. So every time I'm up there, I just try to be the best drummer I can. That's pretty much always been the drive. Okay. You know, other drummers are watching. I want to make sure they're impressed too. So, but at the same time, you have to serve the song. It's a delicate balance. Right. So when you find the uh, song is starting to stray a little bit, do you give them a, a little hint with the beat, up kick, or how, do you have any tricks to get them back on track? or? Oh, they listen to me, so they're not going to get off track. They're not going to get off track. The you drummer get, sets the tempo. You set the tempo. But usually when they get into the little creative little flares or little, little, little long thing and they start feeling a groove and they just want to play and everything, so you're just riding then. Yeah, then it's my job to lay down just a steady down. groove and don't okay. let them have the spotlight. Okay, okay, okay. That's, that's crazy. I, you know, I, I, I admire a drummer when he has to put it down. 
and keep the beats hot. We're getting some more members in. Got to block him. Pull the mic out. Okay. And you guys can pass that around. Sorry. I'll be here. Yeah, yeah. That one's mine, yeah. All right, so we got the interview going with with John Powell. He started out. The rest of the members of 91 Octane are here. We're here tonight, Vista Village Pub in beautiful Vista, California. We're bringing in the 2018 in a rude way. They're going to piss on everybody tonight. It's going to be one of the greatest shows ever. If you're not here, you're a fucking retard. Here's where you bring in 2018 the right way, John Pyle. And I got a couple new members that I got to get the names down. But what we got uh, on the guitar, what are we doing? Lead guitar? It's Kevin. Yeah. All right. My name's Kevin. Kevin, where are you from, Kevin? Uh, Carlsbad. Carlsbad. Grew up in San Diego, Rancho Bernardo. Rancho Bernardo. That's so where I grew up. You're Don't a San Diego anymore. kid, born and yeah, raised native. in the sunshine. He's got, you guys can't, well, the video's right there, so I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it, it is, uh, so well, who's your influences? Who's your, who's your uh, favorites of all time? Uh, I started playing because of Jimmy Page. All right. Zeppelin. Nice. Uh, in fact, I was kind of a Zeppelin dork in high school. I, my little f message in the yearbook said, Long live Led Zeppelin, they will never die. Another wrong that, with that. Yeah, that was in the, I mean, all the other people were putting things like, Oh, I love you, Chris, or I love you. And mine was Led Zeppelin will never die. Dude, I, I think the people that don't like Zeppelin are the ones that are the dorks. I know. You know? I, I hear you, but I think maybe at that time in my life I was a bit of a dork. Yeah, but, cool. but yeah, that's why I started, started in college. And um, nice. nowadays, there's. So I'll you, tell you one band that doesn't get any credit is Billy Talent. If anybody's not heard Billy Talent, it's a band, not a person. They should listen to Billy Talent. They're a great freaking band. So. What, what, what uh, rock and roll kind of yeah, like it's a, rock. The lines of? There yeah, go. it's killer. Nice. You want to talk to Brian? That sounds good. So the, yeah. Yeah, no, no, cool. Well, hey, it's a good, pleasure to meet you. I've heard these guys many times. I'm sure they're going to sound much better with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope so. so Thank you. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's awesome. So back to Billy Talent. Billy Talent is the shit. They got some. They got I'm some not, great music. <laughs> Have I'm you heard fucking. of Billy Talent? Green Day. Billy on Talent. They do. They do. Yeah. Yeah. They're a Canadian band. Their producers are freaking awesome. Yeah, we're production on their albums are badass. Sure. Right, so oh, you're using Garage Band. Nice. I love your, it. Your name is. I'm Brian. 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 Uh, lead singer, rhythm guitar. Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right. So cool. Good. Uh, okay. So I, I'm gonna no. Yeah. We got so, Pallone over okay, here. I'm gonna go ahead because here's some I thought he'd be Pallone, either one of these I'm guys. Pallone, That's Pallone which means oh, okay. yeah, there you he's go. Uh, uh, bald in Spanish, which this fucking wannabe Mexican doesn't know. <laughs> so the thing about our show, if you've never heard of the Pallone and Chubby show, is uh, no holes bars, there's no I just say whatever the fuck the We don't have any of that CC shit going on. I say whatever the fuck I feel. I love it. I offend a lot of people, I don't give a fuck, I offend everybody equally. You know, I do. Right. Uh, I, got I ain't black. racist. I hate everybody. Uh, yeah, I hate everybody. So I have a black co-host, but uh, that commentator. Yeah, he is. He asked, Hey, that's not PC. He he cleans. That's not he PC. Me, uh, because when I talk shit, he says what he really meant to say was. So oh, he cleans it up. He's the like. The reason I'm saying that I'm building this up is because I've been a little critical of the band in the past, and so I'm just going to put it out there. Uh oh. Uh, you, so you brought tomatoes, really, is what you're there, trying to no, say. I'm, not, I'm just saying. Me, <laughs> as a person that loves music, like I said, I was supposed to be at the Pennywise concert tonight. My buddy's a drummer, you know. But uh, I didn't want to deal with the traffic. I hate crowds. And she's been a little under the weather. He didn't give you, he didn't get, he didn't get you a ticket, did he? No, we had tickets. They went to wait. <laughs> they went to wait. They had six tickets, and there was only four of us. So, but anyway, it's good to be here. I didn't want to drive and fucking deal with all those people. So I'm happy I'm here. But here's the point. The point is, this band has never had a fucking lead singer, really. 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 They had a guy that sat in the corner, played the guitar, you know, and didn't fucking put on a show or nothing. You couldn't even hear him. All I said is keep turning the music, turn the, turn the fucking microphone up so we can hear the lead singer, right? And they're like, that's all it's got. That's all it's got. Well, fucking sing with some fucking nuts. All right, so that's all I'm going to say on that, right? So then they uh -oh. got the next one. And then, that, that didn't last very long, right? It didn't last very long, and and really a, a, a little bit of a wet. No, the, the new one. Whatever. Oh, We're gonna leave that alone too. I'm not saying the name. Uh, yeah, I'm not saying the name. But you you could have had a fucking wet towel up there singing. It would have been the same. All right. All right. So 
You gotta move a little. Feel the music. If you don't feel the music, oh, I no. can't feel the fucking music. You know what I mean? So I watched a video of you online. And all I need to see is a little bit, because I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I can about. show you a little bit, baby. Yeah, show me a little bit. You want to get it on camera? Show me your fucking thumb. <laughs> show me your thumb. <laughs> it's not enough to tickle. All right, so, <laughs> so I saw the video, and this guy can rock. He can fucking move. He actually looks like he's singing a fucking song, so it's good. And he's got a good voice, so I think this show's going to be off the fucking hook. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And most of the fans are fucking dog shit, but I am actually looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be good. I think if you're in the area, you need to get off the fucking couch and come down here and watch these guys do their shit. I think it's going to be great. Where are you from? Uh, Fallbrook. Fallbrook. Yep. That's, uh, we won't hold it against you. It's okay. I know, I know. People come from worse places. <laughs> Fuck it. No, so you're out there in the sticks. Were you growing weed out there? What was oh, that? absolutely. No, that's our, that's, I was born and raised in Fabric. Now I'm in Marietta. Okay, there you go. That's better. The wind bit. tunnel. How's that working for you? That's good. It's I hot in it. the summer, fucking cold in the winter. Hey, man, we got AC. <laughs> got. <laughs> no, we used to live in a shithole like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. <laughs> no, we lived in Tracy. It was fucking like 40 mile an hour winds every day. Really? Up in the Central Valley. It was we fucking horrible. We don't horrible. much wind. Nah, it's not much. Nah, not much if you're fucking, if you're flying on the wing instead of in a seat <laughs> on an airplane. Oh, fuck. No, we'll leave the people in Marietta alone. It's fine. <laughs> they couldn't afford it in the, in, in, uh, by the beach way back then. They definitely can't afford it now. <laughs> a million plus for a fucking, holy Dude. shit. Anyway, anyway, so we're here New Year's Eve. We're going to wish all the shit from 2017 down the fucking toilet, bringing all the good stuff for 18. And uh, I'm looking forward to see you singing out there. Is there anything you want to tell America? Because they're watching. I know you're looking at the show. You're like, this piece of America's shit fucking show. Right now. America's maybe, watching right now? And there's a couple Make America great Trump, bitches. What's up? Yeah. That's what and I want to say. Hey, there's even a few Frenchies that watch us. For Frenchies? Me. Really? Yeah. So we got to. There you go. All right. Trumpy Bear. So these guys are going to go out. They're gonna Has anybody seen Trumpy Bear? Trumpy Bear? Yeah, we saw it on a TV commercial last night. It's like a teddy bear that like, says, Make America Great Again. It's called it's Trumpy Bear. And it's got is, the hair. Is it like a bandana on his head? No, he's got the hair, like the yeah. full hair, yeah. yeah. Check it out. Hey, yeah, you know what? I'm not, I'm not an investor. I, 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 you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a Trump supporter. But sometimes I think they need to let the motherfucker alone and let him try and do his job. Uh, you know what? He's trying to run it as a company, which this fucking country actually needs. It hasn't been for years and years. You know, we've been fucking, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, bleeding heart, fucking giving money to every sorry motherfucker that doesn't want to work. Fuck that. Let's be like all these other countries. Close the close the doors and clean house, baby. Not give well, how this get all political? Away. Fuck all that Obama money. We don't need to give it away anymore. Make these motherfuckers work. Make them work. What do you Everybody think, John? Everybody else is out there fucking digging ditches and doing work every week. Get out there and fucking... Yeah, so, anyway, fuck... We're, that's what we're going to get rid of in 2017. It's still 2017. We're getting rid of all the political bullshit. We're going to say, you know what? Fuck it. We, as a country, are going to make America great again. Fuck the orange man. Whatever his plans are, we're going to do it ourselves. We don't need him. You know, so we're going to be happy times again. Great days in America. Everybody have fun. And put it in where you can. Yeah. Yeah, get it in whenever you can, as much as you can. That's my, uh, my advice for America. If we did more fucking and dick sucking, everybody would be a lot happier. Nobody has ever been sad after getting their dick sucked. No. No. Well. Nobody's ever been mad unless it was a terrible blowjob. doing the sucking, or some, my, my Right. Or some little chick with braces or something, you know? That's been fucking miserable, but no, no, no. I'm just if saying. They said, don't come in my throat, and they do. I mean, right. They, they... Yeah. yeah. That could be rough. That could be rough. But, uh, yeah, more plug-in, and uh, I think everybody will be happy. But uh, come down to Vista. You guys have any parting shots, any comments, anything before you guys get out there and rock the fuck out of this place? I'm going to go take a shit. Beautiful. Me too. I'll be right behind you. <laughs> Can I sit on your lap? <laughs> got nothing to say after that nothing to say after that taking a check shit check out 91 away. octane on facebook just search no. 91 octane and we're going to go live on our second set right so you can watch from home even though you should be here in person right it's a lot more fun there's some people that can't get out of the house you know house arrest whatever uh they a couple of chicks got that old man that fucking lays the pimp pan down 
Can't fucking get out. It's all good. We understand. So Pyle's going to uh, broadcast the second set. Tune in, 91 Octane. Become a friend. Uh, all their friends will be your friends. And their friends will be their friends. And, and friends will be friends. So join. Like 91 Octane. Be a friend of theirs. And watch them rock out the second set tonight. Bring the new year in, 2018, fuckers. New Year's Eve, bitches. Bitches. Thank you. Signing off once again. See ya.